Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve, and this is my boy Honey. Got a chicken and whiskey episode to to share with you today. All right. I have the Gubne chicken, Gubne chicken. This is the pretty popular chain in Korea, chicken chain in Korea, and they just got here at soft opening in in California area. They advertise as roasted chicken and I got the Weller foolproof the blue Weller to try out with the chicken but I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of coke and put some ice in it so it's gonna be sort of like a jack and coke kind of deal let's get right to it so this is how it looks like doesn't come in a bucket comes in a little box and then I ordered the what did I order ordered the half and half um, so eight pieces of sweet and spicy and eight pieces of soy garlic. Let me open this guy up. All right. And then obviously the Weller foolproof. This is the pickle radish that a lot of the Korean people eat with chicken. It's an absolute must. A couple of basic things about this chicken in Korea. Fried chicken in general, or chicken in general is huge in Korea. I mean, wherever you go in Korea, it's littered with chicken places, chicken shops or whatnot. You know, marinated chicken, fried chicken, roast chicken, all kinds. The chicken culture is very actually advanced in Korea. So, you know, you could, to go out, you could eat at that place, but they deliver wherever you are, um, which is pretty cool. You know, we got, we got Uber Eats and, you know, DoorDash and stuff like that over here after the pandemic, but it's like to the next level. Like I was there a few years ago, and you know, if, if you're at some place in a park and you want some chicken, you call the chicken place in the nearby and let them know, hey, I'm at this park, I'm wearing this color, I'm under this building, and this is my order, can you please deliver? And they'll come to you in, in a little bike or, or motorcycle. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And there's so many different kinds of chicken places in Korea. And this is one of them, one of many. There's, you know, this is not the only one that's good. It's, it's delicious in a lot of the places. So around where I live, a lot of the Korean brands are start, started to come over here, a lot of the Korean chicken brands. And this is one of them. And they advertise it again as oven roasted chicken, not really fried chicken, but it tastes just like chicken, uh, fried chicken. Let's go for it. This is a soy garlic and that's sweet and spicy. Let's try the soy garlic first. I'm gonna take off the glove, it's getting in my way. Chicken's super soft. I don't know how they do it here, but a lot of the Korean chicken, the main difference is different marinades. Here you got the, you know, the usual, the El Pollo Local, right? You got the KFC and the Popeyes. They're good too, I love them. But usually they have like maybe a couple kinds, right? The original, maybe the spicy or the crispy or something like that. But Korean chickens, they got all kinds of flavors like garlic, soy sauce, you know, pepper, sweet and sour, super spicy, all kinds. And this somehow the marinade sort of gets embedded in the meat and I love that. It's so delicious. when I was growing up. If I do well at school, do well on a test or something. I didn't grow up in a wealthy family. But my mom would take me to like a chicken place. Or KFC in Korea, that was a big deal back then. And I used to love that, it was so good. It's just chicken, but it's so good. So since then, you know, I sort of have a soft spot for all kind of fried chicken. Pour some whiskey in here now. Here's the Weller. The blue Weller that everybody likes.
Cheers, everybody. Uh, oh, yeah, that's good. It's like Jack and Coke, but a little bit stronger. It doesn't have that. You don't like Jack and Coke for those people who uh, had it before. The Jack and Coke, when you have it, it has that, that aftertaste, that, uh, that like medicinal, like, ugh, like, you know, cough drop aftertaste. Doesn't have that here. It's very, it's because it's the weeded. I think it's because of the weeded bourbon, uh, but it holds up on the, the alcohol content. Um, but it doesn't have that the bitter aftertaste like the regular Jack and Coke, so it's it's actually pretty good. I drink this all day. Could probably only do like four or five of these. Few things about this Weller though. People love Wellers for one reason or the other. The main quip about Wellers, a lot of people say, is that it's too light, it's too rounded, too low proof. I think this sort of, they came out with this blue Weller, this full proof, to sort of adjust that. I mean, people love this sweller. Usually those those green and the, the 12 year old, I think it's only 45% alcohol. Even the red one is not as strong. But this blue one though, it's 114 proof, you know, 57% alcohol, so it's up there. Gives you the full body that those the other weller sort of lack. It still gives you the, the rounded, the sweet maple syrupy flavor that the weed are the weed that bourbons are known for. So, I could drink this all day. It definitely tastes different than regular wing place, like a wing stop or, I don't know, like Pizza Hut wings. I love wings in general, don't get me wrong. But the main, my main complaint about like Pizza Hut wings or wings from KFC even, they're so small, there's not much to eat. And when you bite on them, like it's not very juicy. A lot of them is dry. There's barely anything in there, and it's just it's just all batter. I like batter too, but not too much. Most of the Korean wings or chicken place, the batter is much less, and I feel like the chicken is bigger or more plumper. I have no idea why. Maybe it's just in my head. But then the 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 batter is a little less, but it's still crispy. And the, and the meat is super, super juicy, so I love that. And the case is the same for this one too. It's really juicy. And um, the outside, even though it's not, you know, oil fried, is very crispy. And all that marinade is embedded in the, in the meat, so it's really, really tasty. This one's a sweet and spicy. Okay, okay, it's slightly spicy. But not very spicy. Just very slightly. Cheers. If you haven't had a weeded bourbon with Coke or Diet Coke or whatever, doesn't have that. If you if you don't like like the sharp taste of whiskey. The weed of bourbon sort of rounds everything out. So when you mix it with the Coke, it's a little bit different than let's say Jack and Coke or like a rye whiskey or something like that. 
especially this one is a higher proof so it really holds on to the, the alcohol content and you know, still gives you the full whiskey flavor but sort of rounds out the edges so let's go back to the soy garlic I think I like the soy garlic better. They claim that they don't fry their chicken, but I swear, it tastes just like fried chicken. And the outside is so crispy. Their skin, or the, the caramelized marinade, it's so crispy. I don't know how they do it. They just cook it in the oven, but I don't know, maybe they cook it really hot in the oven. No idea. A little bit more. So I got this Weller not too long ago. And I've had the other ones for a while, but I didn't have a blue one. I think it was like $199 uh, for a bundle. And it came with like three other I think vodka and a, and a gin and, and some kind of mixer or something, but I didn't want any of those, but you know, I, I wanted this one. So I bought the one though, it was $199, $200. It's not bad. I mean, I think on the secondary, right? I think those for at least $300 just for that bottle. It's not uncommon to see it listed for like four, five, six hundred. Six hundred dollars for that bottle. <sighs> I mean, it's, it's good, but not $600 good. Not a car payment good, in my opinion. I try to make myself feel better by telling myself, oh, got it for 200, but you know, the other unwanted bottles are probably, you know, 50, $60 combined. But I got it for like, what, 130, 140, 150 maybe, but. Honestly, I bought it for two hundred dollars. So, <clears throat> cheers. Woo. That was good. Gotta finish it. All right. If you haven't tried the Korean chicken, Korean marinated chicken or Korean chicken wings, fried chicken, give it a shot. If you get a chance, uh, if you're in the California area, try the kumne chicken. It's really good. Supposedly they claim that it's healthier because they don't fry and deep fry in oil, but either way, I mean, you're eating fried chicken. You're not eating it because you want to be healthy. So the Weller, the Blue Weller, I know it's hard to find. If you can find it in a bar, you can try a pour if you like it, you know, go out and chase for it. I think it's sort of worth it if you really want to. Uh, don't pay more than, you know, a couple hundred bucks. I don't think it's worth any more than that. But yeah, it's good as neat. It's good with a little bit of ice. It's good as a mixer. It's all around good weed at bourbon. So happy to have a bottle like this. So, okay. That's all I got for you today. Thanks everybody. If you get a chance, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below. Let me know what you think about Korean chicken. Let me know what you think about our, the blue all Otherwise, have a good one. Catch you on the next one. See you.